Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum. You are from? Um, New Cross. Huh? New Cross. No, no. Back home. Oh, Nigeria. Nigeria, right. <laughs> Um, as a young Muslim of the 90s, you know, how do you achieve the right balance between religious fulfillment and social fulfillment, considering um, society? Religious today? and social what? Fulfillment. Fulfillment? Yeah. Achha. Now, this is uh, a question which needs to be defined further. Can you conceive of any religious fulfillment? I mean, like. Can you conceive of any religious fulfillment which would be at odds with the requirements of social fulfillments? Yeah. Can you? Yeah. Then point out, then I'll answer. Okay. Um, like your daily prayers, for example. Huh? Daily prayers. Right. Okay, because you have to go to work, attend lectures. Uh, but this is not a social area. This is an area of economic activity of man. Okay. Right? Yeah. So if that is what you have in mind, then I'll answer this question directly. Okay. Otherwise, as long as the question remains vague, I will not be in a position to answer it uh, with any measure of rationality and understanding, right? Yeah. So let me attend this particular question which you have raised now. Okay. You are expected to say your prayers five times a day, correct? Mm. And uh, who has created you and who has made all the provisions of subsidence for you? Your employers or God? Tell me. God. Okay. Do you really believe in that? Yeah. Then who has the priority? God. Even if God withdraws the blessing of water from a country for a while, even if the country is most advanced in the world, has all the means of modern power at its disposal, it is absolutely helpless in creating water and meet the requirements at its own resources, by its own resources. What happened in England a month or two ago, there was a very severe doubt, and the British people are a very advanced people materially, Yet uh, there was talk of what shall we do if no more water came from heaven? How will we re meet this requirement? If they want to manufacture water of their own, the energy required for that and the expenditure needed for that would be far beyond the, all the resources of the British people. So this is what I mean. Just look at one single aspect of God's grace. Imagine the entire system of the lifting of water from the sea and its purification. The sea water is absolutely unfit for any, the usage of any animal except those which are made to live in, in sea water. Now, how could that water be purified through human efforts, and how could that water be transferred to the heights of the Himalaya mountains and the heights of all the great mountains? Can you ever conceive of a system better than the one conceived by God and implemented? So, forget about all the other means of providence. Just look at the most amazing and complicated system of the purification of water, lifting of it, and it's being carried to thousands of miles to such places where the temperature is kept at a very low level. So they are preserved there to meet the day-to-day -day need of man when there are no rains. Because if it rains continuously, then man would be deprived of his requirements of food. If it did not rain continuously, then if it was not put in a frozen reservoir on the top of the mountains, it would not be available at all. And amazing it is that the requirement of daily food are also directly related to this system 
of purification of water and transport of water because it is condensed through the influence of highly charged electrical uh, no, let me say under the influence of flow of electricity highly charged with a very high potential electricity from one phase to another from positive to negative as the potential of the electricity electricity rises in the heaven it rises to unimaginable heights it rises sometimes to millions of volts and the difference between one charged particle uh, cloud and the other uh, charged cloud is what creates these lightning strikes and when this happens many other things also happen if it had not happened first of all water would not be con condensed back to its form of water it is through the electrical charge that the suspended colloidal particles of water in the air which we call the clouds they would not coagulate so at the same time as it is coagulated under the influence of these high electrical charges the manure needed for the growth of vegetation is created in one day throughout the world through this electrical phenomenon more manure manuring or what you call is artificial manure like sulfates and ammonia etc you know all the artificial manure it is calculated that the manure artificial manure which is uh, uh, fertilizers which are created in the entire industry on the globe in one year cannot match the artificial man manure created in the heavens through electrical influences in one day without that there will be no vegetative growth no life left on earth so what a fantastic thing to have happened the flow in the direction of the mountain then the water the melting of the water now this is also a very interesting phenomenon which has to be understood otherwise you will not know the importance of prayer a worship or expression of gratitude to the creator this is what is all important here in relation to your question you know if the water had gone on being collected and amassed on the mountain tops where the temperature never rises say minus 30 or 20 or whatever it is if it rises then it would not be frozen of course so the temperature remains constantly below zero how would it melt it requires a special law to be created now that law is only in relation to water and ice according to this law of nature which is specific for water and ice under the pressure of the ice the lowest surface the temperature at the lowest surface which touches the soil goes on increasing it is not equally distributed to the whole of the ice pack only the surface which touches the soil on the mountains that becomes so hot not hot in the ordinary sense but so hot as to be able to melt the the ice closest to the surface it goes on melting continuously at a regulated rate otherwise if the heat was to be raised over the entire area of the mountains then the whole ice would melt in one month or within say a month or so and all the water would instead be of benefiting man would flood the whole earth so it had to be regulated and calculated so that continuously over the year the human requirements are met can you conceive of a better system 
more well organized, more well planned by an authority which also has the command over the laws of nature. Otherwise, these special laws, if, were not, if they were not uh, created by God for this purpose, would never come into operation. But that's not all. There's another aspect which has to be understood. How is the electricity produced? That again is a very interesting thing. The electricity is produced because of a very specific law that when water evaporates, it automatically generates electricity. While it doesn't happen in other cases. Why must water create electricity? The surface it leaves has a negative electricity left behind and the surface, the, the vapors which rise, they have a specific electric charge. And this charge varies in different positions, in different parts of the ocean or the water surfaces. Its operation is well organized and well controlled so that the clouds which we see in the air are either negatively charged or positively charged. And the sum total is so balanced that when they come close to each other, they negate the, 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 uh, uh, the potential begins to flow from one side to the other. The resultant is zero. And by the time both the charges are zeroed, all the water in the hanging in the air becomes water again. And you are asking me this question. What should we do? Should we neglect the minimum we can do to recognize the grace of Allah and uh, prefer the worldly employers for what they pay us? For eight hours tiring service you are paid. But to God you can't go five times a day for only a few minutes. What justice is in that? Right? Thank you. Thank you.